Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Udaya Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. So in this video, you will learn about so how to calculate the LT cable size considering the derating factor. Okay. So before we start the session, I would like to request you if you are not a subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So in this video, we will going to calculate the cable size for this feeder third, okay, which total connected load is 200 kilowatt, okay. So to calculate the cable size for this feeder as per this connected load, first we have to calculate the full load current, okay. So here we are going to calculate the full load current for this load okay 200 kilowatt which is active power okay so voltage is 415 volt which is three phase then p is equal to which is active power is equal to the square root 3 into v into i into cos 5 where v is voltage we can say line voltage and uh, i is full load current and cos phi is power factor okay now let's calculate the full load current so to calculate the full load current so p divided by square root 3 into v into cos phi now let's put the value of its parameters so for power how much is it 200 kilowatts so here we converted kilowatt into watts that's why 200 is multiply with this thousands okay now it is converted into watt then divided into square root 3 so the value of a square root 3 is 1.732 into 415 which is voltage okay line voltage and cos phi is power factor so after calculating this the full load current value become 348 ampere so this is the full load current of this feeder as per this connected load 200 kilowatt now let's move to the catalog so as per this full load current which cable size would be feasible so we are going to lay the cable in ambient air which is exposed to ambient air so air side as we know that this is three phase four core we are going for this category so here if we look into this 348 ampere 330 then above it we have a 375 so 375 is for 150 square mm cable okay so up to here as per this flc current full load current so seems to be 150 square mm copper cable as per this full load current however so during the calculation of the cable size we have to consider the derating factor so basically what is derating factor so derating factor actually reduce the current carrying capacity of the cable it is due to ambient temperature why it is reduce the current ca carrying capacity because of ambient temperature if more ambient temperature it means derating factor get high depreciation means at that time derating factor also consider and high voltage drop drop condition also due to this uh, ambient temperature depreciation and high voltage drop voltage drop we can say these are the parameter which it depends upon this derating factor if this goes bad means derating factor goes high okay now derating factor value of the cable depends upon the cable laying so its value basically depends upon the cable laying so if we lay the cable in exposed to ambient air or temperature then we have to consider the derating factor value 0.8 okay 
in case of air. If we lay the cable in underground, then we have to consider the derating factor 0 0.7. Sorry, this is 0 0.7. Okay. Now let's consider the derating factor. So in this case, we are going to lay the cable in ambient air. So we have to consider the derating factor value 0 0.8. So condition one. As per catalog for FLC current, so this is the FLC current as per catalog cable size is 150 square mm copper cable and current carrying capacity is 375 ampere. Up to here it seems the cable size is okay for this load. But when we consider the derating factor as we are going to lay the cable in exposed ambient air okay so now current carrying capacity is multiplied with this directing factor so 375 is directing factor sorry current carrying capacity of this 150 square mm cable size and 0 0.8 is the directing factor after calculating this it become 300 ampere now what we can observe here after derating factor 150 square mm cable current carrying capacity is reduced to 300 as you can see over here from 375 ampere to it is reduced to 300 ampere because of this derating factor so 300 ampere which is less than flc current which is our FLC full load current is 348 ampere hence this cable is not satisfied this cable size is not okay for this particular feeder for connected load 200 kilowatt as we can see this is the 3488 after considering it becomes 300 if we uh, select this cable later this will create a problem it will be overloaded and later it will be brushed out maybe short circuit problems that's why we have not go for this 150 square mm so what we have to do we have to increase the cable size up to next okay from the cable catalog so after 150 which cable size is it 185 so 185 for 185 how much current carrying capacity is it so this is the 434 ampere now as per this let's calculate the uh, current carrying capacity after derating factor considering the derating factor so in condition 2 what we have to as per cable catalog here we consider 185 square mm cable with current carrying capacity is 434 ampere now here we have considered 0 0.8 derating factor as we are laying the cable exposed to the ambient air. So for this, so current carrying capacity is multiplied with derating factor. So 434 ampere is current carrying capacity of this 185 5 square mm cable and directing factor is 0 0.8 so after calculating this which is become 347.2 ampere which is almost near to this as per our full load current but due to safety reason i don't recommend to go with this cable size always go for higher value than this full load current as you know cost will be high if we are moving for higher cable size but for safety reason we have to go beyond this higher than this so after derating factor 185 square mm cable current carrying capacity is reduced to 347.2 ampere which is less than flc 348 hence this cable size is also not satisfied now let's move to higher than this cable size 185 so higher than this 185 which is 
टू फोर्टी स्क्वायर एम एम के बल्ब सो इट्स करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन एम पेयर ओके सो लेट्स एज पर कैटेलॉग केबल साइज टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी स्क्वायर एम एम केबल एंड करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन एम पेयर नाउ डी रेटिंग फैक्टर सो करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इन टू डी रेटिंग फैक्टर सो फाइव फिफ्टीन इज करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी एंड जीरो पॉइंट एट इज दी डी रेटिंग फैक्टर आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस दिस विल बिकम अ फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एम पे आर सो दिस इज द कैरिंग कैपेसिटी करेंट कैरिंग कैपेसिटी आफ्टर आफ्टर कंसिडरिंग दिस डी रेटिंग फैक्टर सो हेयर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट After derating factor, cable 240 square mm cable current carrying capacity current carrying capacity is reduced to 412 ampere, okay? So which is higher than the full load current, 340 ampere as you can see. Hence this cable size is satisfied. So finally we go for 240 square mm four core. कॉपर आर्मर्ड केबल एक्स एल पी इंसुलेटेड ओके इन दिस वे वी कैन कैलकुलेट दी केबल साइज हेयर वी हैव टू कंसिडर दी डी रेटिंग फैक्टर ओके सो हेयर फिडर थ्री केबल साइज इज वन रन फोर कोर टू फोर्टी स्क्वायर एम एम कॉपर एक्स एल पी आर्मर्ड केबल so hope you guys understand about basically how to calculate the lt cable size considering the d rating factor so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video